Hey guys, I'm LB, and I got a collection request from Dante Minutio to play the maps from Mike Astro in his collection of Mike Astro's logical maps. Or, best of Mike Astro's logic maps, rather, this one. This is the one's collection I got. So we're gonna start off today with Section by Mike Astro. Dear front page, I have nothing to tell you, for we will probably never meet again. <laughs> Difficulty 4 out of 10, and it's been favorited by Fumbly Bumbly. Sincerely, Mike Astro. Alright, let us get started then. Yes, it is a well-known fact that front page maps are generally very easy because only the easy this maps next get uploaded. This involves the Aperture Science Aerial Faith Plate. It was part of an initiative to investigate how well test subjects could solve problems when they were catapulted into space. Results were highly informative. They could not. Good luck. I don't know where this music is from. Huh. It could be from a lot of things. I haven't played Portal Pro. It doesn't- it's not Rexora. I know it's not Rexora. It's definitely portal themed music, so probably save your content ID. Could be aperture tag. I I don't have a good recollection of aperture tag music for some reason. Weighted cubes calibrated. That gets us a funnel. We have a secondary cube here. It appears to be just a regular cube. Ooh. Interesting. Yeah, this is a slippery slope right here. <laughs> Interesting little guard there. I wonder what that's for. Probably somebody found a way to funnel their way to there somehow. That'd be my guess. Well, have fun soaring through the air without a care in the world. Yeah, yeah, whatever, GLaDOS. Right, so, now we want to figure out how to get this cube into there, I'm guessing, right? So far, seems simple enough. It's a good song. I don't know what it's from, though. I don't remember if I've heard it before or not. Uh, sure. That's- that counts as being in the button. Did I do it to both cubes? I did it to both cubes. <laughs> Didn't even notice. Alright, so, um... Now the question is, how do we proceed? Did I make this slippery? I hope not. Oh, I made it slippery. <laughs> Alright, well, that's, uh, that's easy enough to fix. Whee! Gotta love something cute. Hang on. Hang on a second here, I gotta- I gotta test something here. Yeah, they kinda- they spin the opposite direction, don't they? Look at that! I've never done it with a laser cube before. Huh. You give them- you give them, like, a backspin. Why does that happen? Why does it work that way? How does that work? Huh. I never knew that. Alright, well, let's go- let's go get this cube unslipperyified, because I don't want a slippery laser cube, that's just gonna cause all kinds of problems. Alright, unslipperyified. No, I guess I have to do it on the original button that it came from. Is it on slippery fight now? Nope. How about now? What? Is it just permanently slippery now? What? I didn't even know you could make it permanently slippery. Is it just because it's a laser cube? All right. Well, let's let's get a new one in that case. Alright, well, got a, a non-slippery laser cube. This one's got the friction on it. There we go. That's the friction we need. 
What does that do for us? I'm thinking we want to... This light is here very intentionally, because I think what we want to do... ...is launch the cube into the funnel to have the cube block the laser, right? Pretty sure that's what we want to do. Might need to move this a little bit more, like... ...like this. There we go, that should work, I believe. I've spent more time distracted by a slipper cube than solving the puzzle. Ooh, but the other thing is... I just need to move the regular cube, right? Yeah, I just need to move the regular cube to the other button. Which will block the laser. Ooh, interesting. What turned off that fizzler again? It was that. Hmm. Hmm. Very interesting. So, I think I need to place- place my portal in here first. Let's go do that, then. Alright. Man, this music sounds odd now. So we've done that. Swap these out. I need to position the cube again. There we go, that should work. I just got tired of walking, that's why I've got this at three times speed now. Right, I don't actually need to move the cube, do I? Because, I've already got the portal placed. So theoretically... Yeah, there we go. So now... Yeah, that's all fine and dandy. We can hop back down, bring the cube up here. And I believe we should be... effectively done at this point. Don't even have to move the portal if I don't want to, but I want to. Perfect. Right, I- I did have to move the portal, because otherwise it would've just juggled itself in here. So now we can get to the exit. Very nice map, I like that. That's a good puzzle. Alright, well guys, as always, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I will see you all in another video. Goodbye!